Hello friends. You know how I love PowerShell and Excel? Today I dropped a new version and I'm going to take you through and show you how we're going to take this data, comma separated value, and we're going to create this table in Excel, including sums and other types of subtotals, including, as you see, a comment. So remember, thumbs up if you liked the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we're gonna do this together right now. Okay, so let's get started. So here, I just have some comma separated value file uh, format, CSV. I'm gonna convert that, this piece of text into the variable dollar data using convert from CSV. And let's take a look at the Excel. So I'm going to save it to total uh, totals row dot xlsx. Um, and here are the parameters I'm going to pass to export Excel. I'm going to create a table name called sales. I'm going to create the table style, medium 10, um, auto size, and I'll set the path to where the, the Excel file is going to go. And I'll enable the show switch with dollar true so i'll take the data i'll pipe it to export excel using these parameters and let's see what we get and here we go that's the csv data let's take a look at that again that's this csv data in excel notice we get the table style with the zebra style with this colorization uh, we get uh drop down so we can filter the data if we want and let's take a look at how we created these total settings so now you can create tell a table any variable we're going to call it table total settings and we're going to make a hash table you specify the name of the property quantity for example we're going to do total settings on quantity category and sales quantity we want to just want to do a sum category we're going to use a built-in Excel um, function called count if and we're going to do it based on category if it's not equal to electronics okay then on sales we're going to do the same thing if it's not equal to electronics if the category is not equal to electronics in the sales column uh, we're going to do a sum of how much all that all those uh, non electronics entries are and then we're going to also set the cell comment to say sum of sales for everything that is not electronics. And here you can see this is our sum if. Okay. And it shows you what it's summing. Here's our count if, if it's not electronics. And this is just our sum. By putting sum in, uh, it'll drop in subtotal with the proper concept um, based on that property name. And if I hover over sales, you can see that the comment was set. So download the newest version, give it a try. Just as a shout out to Thomas, a member of the community, he built this new feature. Um, I took his pull request, he built tests, he tried everything out, he did comments, he updated the help, updated all the key features that are needed for a release. Uh, so shout out to Thomas, really appreciate it. So check this out, it's a cool new feature. Okay, thanks.